Purdue University is an international leader in technology transfer and startup creation. One of those startups is MR Link, which is developing an affordable, smart, self-learning MRI imaging device called Echo One. Once inserted into existing MRI machines, Echo One could allow researchers and medical professionals to more effectively monitor patients by performing multiple diagnostic imaging scans at once. The startup was co-founded by Rana J. Mandel and Nishant Babaria, both graduate students in Purdue's Schools of Engineering, and Zhang Ming Lu, an assistant professor of electrical and computer engineering and biomedical engineering in the Weldon School of Biomedical Engineering. The MRI machine is a widely used diagnostic tool in the medical field, and um, it does a great job of telling the clinicians and practitioners where a certain event took place in the body, but it doesn't do a good job of telling them when that event took place. For this reason, we're trying to develop a device which can monitor the patient's ECG, EEG, or um, ECOG data inside the MRI machine to give practitioners and clinicians a way to see exactly when a certain event took place in time. Echo One would work simultaneously with an MRI system to record electrophysiological signals while imaging the patient. The device could also learn when to start and stop recording in order to more effectively gather and present a high quality signal. We have created this miniaturized device. It is uh, much smaller than a coin and actually it integrates with any conventional MR um, system. So any conventional system right now are $200,000 and we are aiming to make this one-tenth of it. It uses the conventional MRI hardware to actually record uh, these additional signals. MR Link has licensed the technology through the Purdue Research Foundation Office of Technology Commercialization. The company has developed its first working device and plans to target the research market before eventually moving into the clinical market. Now we are working with uh, several funding agencies trying to secure more support for us to continue this development. And of course we also need uh, and open to partnership with other laboratories and device manufacturers so we could soon deliver a device to more people and to benefit their research and to hopefully soon deliver to clinicians for them to better treat patients. To find more information about this and other Purdue technologies, visit prf.org/otc.